This is Bob Campbell with Cheaper Than Dirt, the Shooter's Log Chronicle. This is the High Point. It's a very popular handgun as far as sales and the number in circulation. Probably not a lot of pride of ownership, but hey, you've got to start somewhere. Crinkle, bake, finish, plastic grips, polymer frame, single action. Will not fire unless the magazine's in it, which is a safety feature. Also, adjustable sights, red outline. It's a very minimal pistol, but it will save your life if it's well handled. Another point seldom made about this pistol is it's a great beginner's gun if you want to learn disassembly and gunsmithing got some tricks to it and it's well worth your time to invest in this piece I'm going to conduct this demonstration as safely as possible pistols been triple checked chambers not loaded I will insert a magazine this pistol must be carried chamber empty that's just the deal Glock SIG 1911s I don't carry them that way. This one must be carried chamber empty. Keep your finger off the trigger, get a firm grip, positive. That was a couple of Hornady. Critical defense, it fed properly, locked back on the last shot. That's the manual of arms for the high point. An important test of the reliable function of a pistol is to fire below eye level, retention. See how this one does. Locked open on the last shot, three rounds. We're going to try the high point on a few gongs. That was a very nice sound coming from the last one. I think it has a better harmony and timbre than the others. Now I'm not embarrassed to note that I pulled one shot. Getting used to the trigger, no excuses. But it did okay on the gongs. Good morning. This is Bob Campbell with a tabletop discussion. I have a study, we have a range. Tabletops are often used for discussion, family meetings, and if you don't have anywhere else, for gunsmithing. Fortunately, I have a shed for that, but just the same, we thought this was fitting to discuss this pistol. This is the high point, spelled H-I rather than H-I-G-H. This is a blowback operated pistol. The slide blows straight off of the barrel, off of a fixed barrel rather than the more common locked breech for the 9mm. As a result, it's somewhat slide heavy. Now, let's look at this closely. There's no ammunition close by. The chamber is empty. There's no other way to do it. Don't fool around with a loaded gun. Don't unload the gun and leave the ammo close by, especially if you're field stripping the gun. Now, the high point is a very inexpensive pistol. Usually, they're available for less than $200. That can be an attractive price point if you look at a gun simply as a tool. Everyone's not an enthusiast. Everyone's not as interested in handguns as I am. But just the same, despite the low price, this pistol has adjustable sights. That's a good feature. It's actually accurate enough to make use of sight adjustment. And it has a red outline on the front, two red dots on the back. That's really good for sight acquisition. Has a modest rib across the top. Now, the safety is a very good feature. 
The safety is very ergonomic. Look at that. Very easy to use well. The magazine locks in place as it should. The trigger slides. I had it locked in place. The safety locks the slide. The slide's not the easiest to rack, neither is it the worst. There is a magazine safety that prevents the trigger from being pressed as the magazine's removed. That's not a bad feature. The frame is polymer. The grips are plastic. This is a simple gun to operate and a simple gun to use. Now, while it is an inexpensive defense gun, this is also one of the best guns you could possibly purchase if you want to learn a little about gunsmithing. Disassembly isn't the simplest, but it's by no means difficult. When you take the grips off, the parts pretty much a press fit as far as the trigger bar and disconnect go. So, you can learn something about disassembly with an inexpensive gun you can learn about the magazine release. You can actually tune this gun to an extent. Being an inexpensive learning experience. But the bottom line is, you need a gun. You need it right now. You don't have time to save up for a more expensive gun. Or maybe you just don't want to pay for a more expensive gun. The high point is a reasonable, minimal choice. The performance in self-defense is going to depend more upon the man or woman behind the gun than the gun itself. It's always a rule. But I'll say this. If you can afford something better, well, then you should. But if you can't, the high point makes sense.